Now it's 14 minutes after 8 o'clock on this Friday and next week, Thursday, October 29th, is World Stroke Day. It's an opportunity to help Americans get heart and brain healthy by raising awareness of stroke. You know, strokes are the world's number two killer and a leading cause of disability. Joining us this morning uh, with important life-saving reminders about prevention is Dr. Ricardo Hanel. He is the neurosurgeon and co-director of Baptist Stroke and Cerebrovascular Center. Good morning, doctor. Always great to have you on the morning show. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for the opportunity. So I, I do want to talk about symptoms here in just a minute since it's so important not to ignore them. But first, I think it's important to also explain what you see on a daily basis, and that is the consequences of stroke. Sometimes if we know the consequences, we might be more apt then to make some changes that we need to in our daily lives to prevent stroke. Is there an anecdotal story that you might be able to share about, you know, how stroke impacts someone's life? Yeah, I'm going to tell you about a, a girl that I just saw this morning. We operated on her a couple of days ago, 34 year old with a blocked vessel on the right side of the brain. Unfortunately, she came to us already with two strokes and she has disability. She can barely move her left arm. Thankfully, I think her leg is going to improve a lot. But this is a 34 year old that had a stroke. We're able to help her with surgery, but we don't know how she's going to make it. So uh, it's not only the, the life threatening situation of the stroke, but it is something that we have all to be aware. We're all potential patients. The stroke happen at any age, but the stroke is the number one cause of disability. So if you don't pay attention before it happens, you may be happen to be left with disability for the rest of your life with a heavy burden for you and for your family. Yeah, life changing, not just for you, but for everyone who loves you. So we know that 80% of first strokes may be prevented with lifestyle adjustments and or medication. Would you explain what kind of lifestyle adjustments? Because I, I know as soon as I say that, people are thinking, oh man, this doctor's gonna tell me I've gotta go run an hour every day yeah, and yeah. I loathe running. It's not necessarily an hour every day of, of heavy, intense workout. Oh, no, it's spot on, Jen. Uh, again, you, you know this, uh, it's small things. Again, if you walk 30 minutes a day, it's not running a marathon, it's walking 30 minutes a day, make a huge difference in your overall uh, 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 risk stroke, decrease your odds of diabetes. If you have diabetes, it helps with diabetes. You gotta know your numbers. Very simple things that cost essentially nothing. You gotta know your body weight, you got to know your blood pressure, you got to know your blood sugar, and you got to know your cholesterol. If you know those four numbers that you can go on, on the internet, uh, on the American Heart website or Baptist website, and you find these risk cards, and you can put yourself in a situation that you own your own destiny, and you know if you're no risk, low risk, or high risk for stroke. And then you can talk to your primary care physician about modifying those. Uh, healthy life, anything that is good for your heart is good for your brain. So exercise, uh, eat healthy, normal body weight, uh, all those things that is very attainable to all of us. And as you said, uh, uh, prevention, 80% of the strokes are preventable. And if God forbid you have one, you could not be in a better place to be treated than to be in Jacksonville. And I know the last time we spoke, we touched on this, but I think it is so important. The symptoms, always remember the words, be fast. Yeah, yeah the acronym be fast. Uh, this is there because we, we all know time is of essence. So you've got to go fast, but be balanced. If you get out of a sudden, keyword sudden, sudden onset of dizziness, trouble with your balance, Sudden trouble with E, the E stands for eye problems, so double vision, vision loss. The F stays for, uh, stands for face, so if one is smile, the, 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 the face is crooked, that's a problem. The A stands for arm, so if you put your hands like this and one arm is drifting, that's a problem. Uh, the S is for speech. Uh, if you have trouble finding words, getting words out, the slurred speech, and T is for time. So all together, balance, eye, face, arm, speech, 911. Our paramedics around Jacksonville and region, they're super well trained to recognize these strokes and take people to the right place at the right time. And the stroke day is a tremendous opportunity to raise awareness in the world. We live on a stroke belt. Uh, uh, North Florida, South Georgia, we are a hotspot for stroke. So you, every single person in the region needs to know this so you can help yourself or your beloved one. 
Dr. Ricardo Hanel with Baptist, thank you for your time this morning. Such important information. Don't ignore the warning signs. Thanks again for your time. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, guys.